My name is Beverly Hoxley and I'm a maker of things. Most people live a, a relatively, um, I don't know, calm or uh, secure life that I feel maybe hasn't been mine so much because of the choices that I've made. I don't know about conflict or drama, but I do feel different when I put myself beside sometimes other women my age in their life situations. So. I don't know, I, that's not drama, I guess. I, um, maybe my drama and my conflict are on the canvas. It's that melancholy thing. Oftentimes people will look at the work and ask me if I'm depressed. There can't be the jumping up and down happy all the time, it's not realistic. And, and I don't think we should deny the, the other side of that. It's, um, it's what motivates so much. I feel like I've had this kind of a, a shadow or, or um, a melancholy since I can remember as a little weeny child and I've, I've been friends with it. It's not ever been something that I think should go away or that needs to be fixed and I think that um, it comes through in the work and, and I hope not as something that is um, disturbing. I don't mind if it's challenging, but to me it's not, it's not a negative thing. It's necessary. The whole analytical process comes post-creative for me. I think the figures come with their own agenda and I wait until they're finished and have a bit of a conversation with them about who they are and what they have to say. And sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm just doing what I'm told. I know that when I listen to other people's stories that I see myself in them and it makes me somehow feel a little more normal or okay. And if we don't tell them, we, we don't know that we're all essentially connected, that we're all the same, that we have similar feelings. And, um, and I think that's what the work does for me. Sometimes you use the model at hand, and sometimes even if I use another model, uh, things just happen. You know, they all end up with big hands and big feet and dark hair, and it just happens. I try to just let the, the work be what it wants to be. And anyways, isn't everything a self-portrait? We're the only ones in our, in our life, inside our experiences and so how can that not influence what's coming out. The sensuality, um, I, I see that as, as creative energy in we two-leggeds, you know, it's the same, I think it probably comes from the same source, uh, our ability to procreate or our ability to make things, it's to me the same energy. I love the iconography, uh, the Christian artwork. I like the repetitive quality of it. I like that there is um, some honoring of, of those forms. To me, that everything is a spiritual connection. So the painting or the, the making of things is prayerful but it's not specifically attached to any doctrine for me. But there is um, there's a longing that I have to be with that iconography. I'm obsessed with procession and the Scotch tape Marys. In my mind I see thousands of them and in procession. So there's something about the walking that um, appeals to me and I think in that that's what I get from that iconography as well. I guess in the in the big scheme of things I'd like to be remembered as compassionate and uh, loving, you know, in that human way. As far as my work, I would like to be remembered as someone who um, stayed on task. <laughs>